The Legend of Zelda series is known for a lot of things, such as its clever level design, trademark characters, and epic soundtrack. But my favorite thing about the games is that they aren't afraid to have a dark plot. So today, I'll share with you a few of my personal picks for the creepiest locations in The Legend of Zelda. While playing through Skyward Sword, I didn't think there was anything special about the Ancient Cistern dungeon at first. You see, while most Zelda dungeons are on the darker drab side of things, this place is actually pretty bright and has some lighthearted music. Until you make it down to the bottom floor where everything changes. The music all of a sudden becomes very dark and eerie to go along with the dreadful surroundings. There are zombie-like enemies slowly attacking you while pools of toxic red liquid slowly drain your health. Plus, scattered around the floor are skulls of visitors that came before you and didn't make it out. When you finally find a string that will bring you out of the darkness, the zombies start to follow you up and drag you back down while you try your hardest to shake them off. The contrast of the higher floors compared to the bottom just amplifies how terrifying this place actually is. The Snow Peak Ruins is a very eerie abandoned mansion that is inhabited by two yetis. The one yeti named Yetta tells you about a mirror in her bedroom that has made her ill. To access the bedroom, you must complete the entire dungeon to find a key, which will then let you into a room where this happens. The Yeti turns out to be the boss of the dungeon with one of the scariest reveals in gaming history. I mean, its head literally twists around, then its face spins backwards to reveal the terrifying monster. The fact that they built the story of this dungeon around this one reveal really shows the dedication that the developers had to scare the living daylights out of us. I think I could describe the Shadow Temple by one sentence written in the dungeon. It states, Here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. So what makes this place so scary you may ask? Well, the walls with glowing eyes, bloodstained floors, guillotines, and torture equipment are all a nice touch. But the worst thing about this place is that they seem to get all the scariest enemies in Ocarina of Time and put them into one dungeon. You have the Redeads, Gibdos, and Wallmasters. But the worst of them all is the Dead Hand. Yes, the nightmare causing Dead Hand is a mini boss found halfway through the Shadow Temple where the player will find these lanky hands sticking out of the ground, and if you get touched by one, this disgusting creature will pop out and try to attack you. This place is not only terrifying because of its looks, but also because of the movements it makes when it steadily comes closer. It's no wonder so many kids and adults hated this place. The Isle of Ruins is a personal favorite of mine, but I never hear people include it in lists of creepy locations in Zelda. But to be fair, this is probably due to the fact that it's in Phantom Hourglass, which a lot of people hated. But in my opinion, this island is one of the highlights of the game. When you make it to the Isle of Ruins, you basically know nothing about it. There are no shops, villages, or people for that matter, making the place seem eerily deserted and without a purpose. The island is set up like a gigantic maze with pyramids scattered about, and when you progress, you'll meet the knights that once ruled the Kabul Kingdom, and they'll direct you on what you need to do next to discover the mysteries of the island. This place isn't as creepy as it is mysterious, with its Indiana Jones-like obstacles and enemies amplifying this feeling. But that didn't stop me from enjoying every second I spent uncovering the secrets of the fallen Kabul Kingdom. Thank you. 
Minish Cap is one of my personal favorite Zelda games, but it's pretty bright and cheerful compared to the other games in the franchise, except for one location. The Royal Valley may not sound that frightening, but what lies inside will change your attitude very quickly. First of all, we have the mysterious environment with these rotting trees, one-eyed ghouls that latch onto you while stealing your health, and sinister music playing in the background, accompanied by the screeches and howls of animals. Wrap all this together with you only being able to see what's directly around you and you have a creepy atmosphere. Secondly, while dealing with the menacing environment, you have to make it through an endless maze, find the graveskeeper in a cemetery, and explore the royal crypt. While this may be a short section of Minish Cap, it left a big impression. So those were a few of my picks for the creepiest locations in the Legend of Zelda series. And if you're wondering why there's no Majora's Mask on this list, well that game could make up a video all on its own. So until next time, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, feel free to click the subscribe button right there, and if you haven't already, check out a few of my other videos. Thanks.